Okay, manual IFF in the Hornet. So you don't ever really need to use this because LNS auto interrogation is on by default. I'll show you LNS auto interrogation one time. If I TDC depress this guy to make him my LNS or do it some other way, you'll see he just became red because he got interrogated. Now, the data link did pop up at about the same time, so I will turn that off just to show you more clearly. So, this guy is unknown. If I TDC depress him, he becomes LNS, and then he will now get IFF'd, and you see the thick bar at the top. That means he is ambiguous. Ambiguous means he has failed an IFF interrogation. If I were to turn the radar on, or sorry, the uh, data link on, he gets correlated the ambiguous with the uh, data link information, and he is fully hostile. If I turn this off and on again, and then do not uh, LNS him, so I leave him un lns he'll be that mixture of the unknown, and you saw it, the uh, triangle at the bottom, which means I see him, I don't know what he is, but data link says he's hostile. Now, if I unbox LNS interrogation, I will see this guy. If I TDC depress him, he is unknown. I'm going to turn data link off so it doesn't get in our way. Now, I have him lns and before he became ambiguous because he was automatically IFF interrogated. But right now, even though he's lns because LNS auto interrogation is off, he is remaining as unknown. If I want him to be IFF'd, I will have to sensor control switch depress and then sensor control switch in the direction of the radar page, so in this case right, within one second of one another. Just sensor control switch doesn't do anything anymore. So I'm going to press that now, depress right, and you can see he became ambiguous. Now. I can show you what it looks like on the ASL because the ASL does show IFF interrogations with vertical bars. You can see I pressed it and he was automatically interrogated. Now, if I hover over this guy, it prioritizes the target under cursor. So you can see now it's IFFing the targets under the cursor, even though they're not uh, my LNS. But if I don't have a target under cursor, it'll prioritize the LNS. So it doesn't just do it where your cursor is, as you can see my cursor is off to the left, but it's IFFing my LNS. But if I have a target under cursor, that is always the priority. So now it's doing the number four. So that's how auto IFF, uh, or in this case manual IFF works. Um, if I turn this back on, this is the default behavior, and it's just going to continuously IFF the LNS. So we'll do that one more time probably before I drop this track. No, I just dropped the track. But if I step my LNS over to this guy, it'll auto IFF the whole group because they are so close to each other. The bars will show you the uh, constraints for uh, the scan. So it'll probably do it again. This two guy was probably not included, but because he got IFF'd earlier, it's okay. Now, by default, it's this, but what everyone should probably just do is do auto interrogate and then everything in the whole scan is auto interrogated periodically so we'll see some vertical bars here and that's the whole scan volume more or less getting auto interrogated that's probably how you should proceed because you don't want to shoot down friendlies that's not good so that's pretty much it